Hello and welcome back to this video series about linear algebra. Now, today in part 14, the real fun of linear algebra begins because we will connect a matrix with a linear map. For this, please recall, we have started seeing a matrix just as a table of numbers, but we can connect that to an abstract map. However, before we start with this, I really want to thank all the nice people who support this channel on Steady via PayPal or by other means. Indeed, I would advise you after watching this video to do the quiz to check if you have understood what we have done in the video. Okay, then I would say let's talk about matrices again. In fact, what we will do today is what I call the column picture. In order to understand this, Let's take a matrix A again that consists of m rows and n columns. In other words, we have a table with m times n numbers in it. And now the overall idea is that instead of seeing this as a table, we see it as a collection of columns. In this sense, we can just give the columns new names. To keep it simple, I call the first column just A1. Then the second column is A2 and then continues until we have the last column AN. So you see, this is not so complicated. Each column is just a column vector with m components. Or in other words, the vector AI is now defined by using the components of the matrix A with two indices. Okay, and now a natural question would be, how can this help us? To answer that, Let's look back at our matrix vector product we have defined as we have introduced systems of linear equations. Indeed, this is what we have denoted by A times a vector X. And then we know this vector X needs as many components as we have columns in the matrix. This means we have a vector with components X1, X2 until we reach Xn. And now when you recall how we defined this matrix vector product, you see we can use the columns here. More precisely, we can write it as the multiplication x1 with the first column plus the multiplication x2 with the column a2 plus the next combination and the next combination until we reach the end xn times the nth column an. Indeed, this is how you can nicely remember the matrix vector product. You multiply this component with the first column, then the next component with the next column, and so on, and in the end you sum all of them up. However, here please recall, the size of the vectors, the size of the columns says that the result here lies in Rm. Hence, what we can see is that such a matrix A is a machine that transforms vectors. So if you want, you can see it as a box. More concretely, we would say we put something in the box and something comes out. Of course, from before we know the input is a vector x with n components. And then the output is a vector ax with m components. And now the important fact here is that this output vector here can be seen as a linear combination of the columns of A. And the factors, the scalars in this linear combination are given by the components of the vector x. Indeed, I would say this is very important to remember, ax is always a linear combination of the columns of A. On the other hand, such a machine here, where we have an input and an output, we already know in mathematics. We call it a map. Therefore, as always, we can simply put this into a definition. And I want to call the map f with index a. Now, more precisely, this is a map from Rn into Rm. And the definition says it maps x to the vector ax. In other words, the map fa is defined with the matrix vector product. In fact, later we will show that this is indeed a linear map. And the general concept of a linear map we will define soon. However, here it's already good to see that the matrix as a table of numbers can be lifted to an abstract mathematical object. Moreover, the information we have in the map should be the same as we have in the matrix. And indeed, this connection here will be important throughout the course. Okay, so here we had the column picture for the matrix vector product 
and in the next video we will look at the row picture. So I really hope that we meet there and have a nice day. Bye.